Welcome to your fiery vinyasa to cooling yin yoga practice. This 30 minute then to yin yoga flow is great for this time of year, embracing the playful energy of the season with our fiery creative vinyasa flow and then moving into restorative yin yoga so you can step off the mat and into your day feeling balanced and in harmony in body and mind. I'll join you standing at the front of your mat. We'll bring our feet hip width apart, arms at your side, palms face open to the front of the mat. Close your eyes. Stack your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis. Feel the crown of your head reaching up to the sky. Take three deep breaths in and out your nose, allowing yourself to connect and arrive here on the mat in mind, body, and spirit. We'll move into our fiery vinyasa to start, focus on uniting your breath with each movement. Breathe in, circle your fingertips up to the sky, and use your exhale to twist at your navel and open to the left. Breathe in, lift up to center. Exhale at your navel point to twist to the right. Breathe in, lift to center. At the top, take it into a back bend as you slowly lower back arms as they're scraping the back of a wall Hinge forward into forward fold. Warming upper body with half sun salutes. Breathe and lift halfway, finding your flat back. Exhale, melt chest to thighs. Big, beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips down around and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Let's breathe in, circling it right back up. Swan dive forward, hinging at your hips to forward fold. Lift halfway, finding your vibrant long spine. Exhale, release forward. Breathe in to circle your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Last time, breathe in, circling up to the sky. Exhale with your front ribs knitted together, swan dive forward. Step one foot back and then the other for down dog. And with your feet hip width apart, come to your very tippy toes and press your chest towards your thighs. And then starting at your tailbone, wave your spine through as though you're coming into plank pose, but let your hips lower through center for a tuck toes variation of up dog. Using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift your hips to down dog. Two more times, heels lift, coming to your tippy toes, chest yearns to thighs, Beginning at your tailbone, intentionally wave your spine through to lower your hips through. Using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift your hips, down dog. One more time, come to your tiptoes, chest presses towards your thighs, ripple your spine through, lower your hips and lift your heart. Intentionally lift your hips to down dog. Inhale to extend your right leg to the sky, keeping your hips square. Exhale, sweep your knee through, hugging into your chest for plank pose. Inhale, extend three leg dog. Exhale, knee through center, hugging in, lifting it into your chest. Inhalation, three leg dog. Exhale, hug your knee into your chest, and then we'll pivot on your back foot to spin your knee towards the left side and extend your leg long, foot lowers to the mat, left arm opens up to the sky, press and lift your hips up. Lower hands back to the mat, knee hugs back into your chest before you step your foot near your right thumb. Lower back knee to the mat, big breath in as you reach your fingertips to the sky and reach them back in space, gaze lifts, hips melt forward and down. 
And while we're in low lunge, tuck your back toes and with control press up to high lunge. Then reach your fingertips back once more, lifting your gaze. Lower your back heel to the mat so your foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat and that front heel bisects your back arch. Arms reach side to side for warrior two pose. Nice wide stance, your front thigh lowers parallel with the earth. Lower back hand to your thigh as your top arm reaches forward up and back into peaceful warrior. Keep that generous bend in your front knee as you reach those fingertips back. And fan your arms, coming back to warrior two, and then moving into side angle pose, lowering your front arm to your thigh. Top arm circles down, around, and up, tracking in line with your ear. Option to lower your right hand to the mat and take a bind by bringing your top arm behind your low back as your bottom arm wraps underneath your thigh to clasp the opposite hand. Then spiral your chest open to the sky, lift your gaze. With control, release and lower your hands to frame your front foot. Bring your hands a few inches forward to prepare for half moon pose. So bend into your back knee to lunge forward with control. Back leg lifts parallel with the earth. Your left fingertips extend to the sky. Great. Now with control, slowly lower your back foot to the mat, returning to warrior two pose. Fan your arms down to frame your front foot, moving into side plank pose, coming to the outside edge of your back foot as you shift your weight to your left palm to step your front foot back. You can step one in front of the other or stack them. Big breath in as you extend your left fingertips up to the sky. Chest opens to the sky. You can stay here, move into wild thing, so your top foot steps behind you and then lift and press your hips up to the sky. Fingertips reach overhead. Beautiful. Now with control, return your top hand to the mat. Big breath in to extend your right leg up to the sky for three leg dog. Then exhale your leg through, lowering your shin to the mat. Right knee near your right thumb for pigeon pose. Hips square to the front of the mat and melt your torso through center. You can come to your forearms or extend your arms long. Take a moment to connect with your breath. Palms slide back under your shoulders and press yourself up. Tuck your back toes and we'll lift to down dog. Let's take that to the second side. So big breath in as you extend your left leg to the sky. Exhale, sweep your knee through, hugging it in towards your chest, plank pose. Inhale, extend your leg to the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, knee through center, hugging and lifting it up towards your chest. Inhalation, three leg dog. Exhale, hug your knee into your chest. This time we'll pivot on your back foot, knee spirals open to the right side, and then extend your leg long, lowering your foot to the mat. Right arm opens up to the sky. Press and lift your hips towards the sky. Then lower your hand back to the mat. Hug your knee back into your chest before you step your foot near your left thumb. Lower back knee to the mat. Breathe in and reach your fingertips up to the sky. And take them back in space. Lift your gaze for a back bend. Hips melting forward and down into the pose. And hold it here and tuck your back toes to press up to high lunge. Reach your fingertips back, lift your gaze, and we'll lower your back heel to the mat. Your front heel bisects your back arch. Nice wide stance here, lowering your thigh parallel with the earth. And lower your back hand to your thigh as your top arm reaches forward up and back for peaceful warrior. Fan your arms back to warrior two and then moving into side angle, lowering your front arm to your thigh Top arm circles down and rounding up, tracking in line with your ear. Option to lower your left hand to the mat and take a bind, bringing your top arm behind your low back. Bottom arm wraps underneath your thigh to clasp that hand. Once your fingers are clasped, spiral and open your chest up to the sky, lifting your gaze. 
With control, release and lower your hands to frame your front foot. Spider your fingers forward a few inches, preparing for our half moon pose. So take a bend in your back knee to lunge forward with control and then lift that back leg so it's parallel with the earth. Right fingertips open up to the sky. Foot flex, heel pressing back. Now with control, lower your back foot to the mat, returning to warrior two. Then fan your arms down to frame your front foot. Coming into that side plank pose. So come to the outside edge of your back foot, shift your weight into your left palm, and step your front foot back. Big breath in, extending your left fingertips up to the sky. Knit your front ribs together and spiral open. Option to take wild things, so top leg steps behind you. Then lift and press your hips up to the sky. Your fingertips reach overhead. Beautiful. With control, lower your top arm to the mat. Big breath in to extend your left leg up to the sky, three leg dog. Then exhale your leg through, lowering your shin to the mat with your left knee near your left thumb. For our pigeon pose, taking whichever variation with your arms best supports you. Notice the rhythm of your breath, your heartbeat. Palm slide underneath your shoulders and press up. Tuck your back toes and lift it down dog. We'll take that wave of your spine through coming into plank pose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhalation to up dog. Then lift your hips, down dog. Glance to the front of the mat. Just step one foot to the front and then the other for forward fold. Breathe and lift, finding your nice long spine. Exhale, melt chest towards your thighs. Big breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Inhalation, circling your fingertips right back up to the sky. Interlace your fingers at the top and flip your palms up to the sky. We'll breathe in and exhale, side body stretch to the left. Inhalation to center, exhale to the other side. Breathe in, left to center. Exhale, cactus your arms as you slowly hinge forward into forward fold. We're moving into our yin portion of the practice, slowing things down. We'll be taking dangling pose, so feet parallel, a little wider than hip distance, maybe even taking them as wide as the mat. And take a slight bend in your knees. Allow your belly to fold over your thighs. We are stretching through the posterior chain of your body. So these are the muscles that go all along the back body. Allow the arms to dangle or you can clasp opposite elbows. Let your head and neck soften and release. Your head weighs heavy. Feel your back body soften and relax. To help cool down after our vinyasa yoga portion, you may wish to breathe in through your nose and take the exhalation out your mouth. Just let go of everything. We'll be here for a little under three minutes. Breathe and connect with your body and the sensations you're experiencing along your back body.
If you had clasped elbows, go ahead and release and let your arms dangle completely. Bring your fingertips to the mat and we'll heel to your feet so they're hip distance apart. Lower palms to the mat to step one foot back and then the other for down dog. Take 10 long, slow, mindful, deep breaths. Inhalations through your nose and exhalations out your mouth, letting go, releasing anything that does not support your balanced, healthy body and mind. All right, slowly lower your knees to the mat and let's take child's pose. Your big toes kiss and your knees are as wide or as close together that sounds good to your body. And then just melt your torso through center. Arms extend long overhead but no reaching. As you hold this pose, soften throughout your entire body, giving your weight fully over to Mother Earth. Allow those hips to relax and melt into the pose and into the earth beneath you. Let it all go and release. All right, my friend, start to press down in your palms to slowly walk back and rise up. Next, we'll move into our dragonfly pose by bringing our legs into a straddle as wide as you comfortably can. We want your pelvis to have a tilt forward, so you may find it helpful to sit upon a pillow or a bolster. On your exhalation, hinge forward at your hips. And once you can't hinge anymore without that flat back, we'll pause there and then allow your spine to round forward. You may place your hands to the mat or come to your forearms or maybe on a bolster or a pillow. And if it's accessible in your body, you may lower all the way down to your belly. Typically, I prefer to have a bolster with dragonfly pose, but I didn't bring them with me today. And as you hold this pose, stay connected with your body, noticing over time with a longer hold how your body opens and your upper body folds forward closer to the mat. If you're like me and you don't have a bolster, and you are unable to come to your elbows, you may enjoy clasping your opposite elbows like we did in dangling pose. 
I like to do this as it reminds me to place no effort. It allows my upper body to completely relax and let go, letting gravity weigh me down. Fingertips come to the mat to slowly roll up. Use your hands to assist your legs back in. We'll bring your soles of feet to the mat. Hands clasp the back of your thighs. On your next exhalation, round back in your spine and slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest just for a moment. If you have a yoga block nearby, I encourage you to take supported bridge pose with your feet hip width apart and sliding that block underneath your sacrum. If you don't have a yoga block, we will heel toe our feet as wide as the mat and allow our knees to fall into center to kiss. Arms rest at your side, palms face up to that beautiful sky. Breathe and soften into the pose. If you took supported bridge pose, go ahead and remove the block and everyone will heel to our feet back in and then bring our soles of feet to kiss and allow our knees to fall open naturally like a butterfly. Lift your arms up into a goal post shape if that feels good and opening. Relax your thighs completely.
All right, my friend, let's slowly and lovingly extend one leg long and then the other, taking your heels as wide as the mat, feet splay open, and do whatever you'd like with your arms that feels best in your body for our final moments of this practice in Shavasana. Settling into complete stillness, everything softens and melts into the earth beneath you taking these final moments to truly allow the nutrients of our practice to settle in and integrate. If your mind starts to wander, just return to your breath and follow each exhalation and each inhalation. Bend one knee, bring it into your chest, and then the other. Roll over to the right side. Take one full deep breath in through your nose, and a long, slow exhalation out your nose. And then slowly make your way to a comfortable cross-like seated position. Eyes closed. Stack your head over your heart, and your heart over your pelvis. Take a moment to tune in to your body, your mind, and your spirit, noticing how you're feeling now compared to when we first stepped on the mat together. Big breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light, your palms kiss, and the lower prayer to heart. Raise prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourself and thoughts of others. Hands lower to prayer at your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as we nourish our body. Hands lower to prayer at your heart, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this fiery vent to cooling yin practice, this yin and yang combo, comment below and let me know. And throw the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest yoga love released each week. From my heart to yours.